Hello, my name is Kristen Bailey and I'm a librarian with the Mercer University Library. Today I'm going to show you how to find the research guide for your class, search in a history database, find the credentials of an author, and use the citation tracking tool in Google Scholar. To access your research guide, we're going to start on the library's homepage and scroll down until we see research guides and tutorials. This will take you to our research guides by subject, and then I'm going to select History, and then History 105 Dowling. On this page, you'll find the library portion of your assignment and some information about your textbook. Farther down the page, you'll find two databases that will be useful for your history research, Historical Abstracts and JSTOR. Today, I'm going to use historical abstracts to demonstrate how to search, so I'm going to click the link here. I'm now in the database and can start searching for articles. We know that we need them to relate to the butchering art, which is about Joseph Lister, Victorian surgery, and germ theory. If I was using our main discovery search on the home page, I'd have to start with very specific terms like Joseph Lister and history and germ theory. Because I'm in a highly focused history database, I can make my search terms more broad and then I don't need to include history as a term. I'm going to start by searching for germs and surgery. Now that I see my results, I know that I need to limit them based on your assignment. I can use the menu on the left to limit my search to peer-reviewed articles. All of my articles are published after 1995, but if I wanted to, I can change the time length here because your assignment requires that all of your articles be published after 1985. We have six results here, and now we need to check the next requirement for your assignment. The author must be a historian. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. First, some journals put author credentials on the first page of the article. Let's try and find one. This article, called Lawson Tate and the Opposition to Germ Theory, Defining Science and Surgical Practice, looks like it could be useful. Let's use it. I'm going to click the Find Full Text button to try and see if we have access. This will take you to the, the article in Discovery, and it looks like we have it in full text in one database. I'm going to click the link. Oops, it looks like JSTOR had trouble finding the article, so let's search for the title. So I'm going to copy and paste the title of the article and search in JSTOR. And look, here it is. Once I click the article, I can see the original version of the publication. This includes a short note from the author that says this article was part of her degree from the Welcome Unit for the History of Medicine at Cambridge University. This doesn't completely tell us if she's a historian, so let's try the second way. I'm going to Google and search for Anna Greenwood. Now we know that she probably isn't at VCU because that's an American university in Virginia and our article said she graduated from Cambridge, which is a British university, but the University of Nottingham is British. Success! It looks like we found a historian. Her page says that she is a social and cultural historian of the British Empire with a particular interest in medical history. It looks like we found a peer-reviewed article from a historian. Now, I want to show you one more useful tool, the citation tracker in Google Scholar. Since we're looking for articles related to the butchering art, that's what I'm going to search here and you can see the first result is the book. Now I'm not going to click this main link, but this cited by link below. There are 14 sources that have cited the butchering art and some of them may be useful. As I scroll down the page, I don't see many that relate to history. So I'm going to go to the second page and see if there's something there. 
and it looks like there is. Gender and pain in 19th century cancer care looks like it relates to medical history. I'm going to click this full text link to the left from the National Institutes of Health and see what the article looks like. Now, I'm going to give you some homework. The article's author is Agnes Arnold Forrester. I'd like you to try and find out if she's a historian for when we meet for our Zoom FAQ session and then let me know. I'm now going to go back to the library's homepage. If you need any help finding a resource or requesting anything through Interlibrary Loan, feel free to use our Ask a Librarian page to contact us. You can reach us through chat, Zoom, email, or phone. Thank you.